Usually I have Bone Lab in the background, but Oculus decided to break on me and the link wouldn't connect, so I had to restart the headset and now it's stuck on a black screen. So, um, so the background is just a new Half Life RTX. But, um, the tutorial is for the Bone Lab SDK and Extended SDK, because I know people are going to ask on how to set it up, and most of the tutorials out there are horrible and kind of crazy to say, but. Even stress level zero's official tutorial is pretty bad. So here we go. To get the Bone Lab SDK, first thing you want to do is obviously get Unity. So just go to the Unity website, and then the downloads right here. And then whatever device you're on, I assume you're on Windows, so you want to click Windows right here. But if you're not, it's Mac or Linux. And then once that is installed, you want to go to Installs install editor archive download archive and it should take you to this page and once you're here you want to make sure to click 2021 and then go down to 2021.3.16 f1 and make sure to download the right one and then once you click on the install it should ask you if you want to go back to the unity Hub and click yes and make sure before you install it make sure to check off these two so Android build support and then Windows build support that's needed for it to work in VR and then after that click install and then once it's installed you want to go to a new project make sure at the top is clicked to 2021.3.16 f1 and make sure there's 3D built-in render pipeline. Um, name it whatever you want. I'm not gonna name it because I already have a project. And click create project. This might take a second, so just wait. All right. Once it's installed, go to Window, Package Manager, and then click this cogwheel right here, and click the Advanced Project Settings. And then in this sp space, go over to this page again. And then go down to right here. And then just copy and paste these into right here. And then once you're done, click save. And you can exit this. And then you go back to this. You go to my registry, and then click Mero SDK, and then install. All right, once it's installed, uh, one more thing, and you're good. Download the Mero backlot. Once that's installed, your Unity Bone Lab SDK is set up. This is not the extended, but I'll explain the extended now. All right, for the extended SDK, what you want to do is it's the same thing. 2021.3.16 f1 and a 3d built-in render pipeline again you can name it whatever you want obviously i'm not going to because i don't need to and then click create project okay once it's installed again you want to go to window package manager cogwheel advanced project settings and you want to set this up the same way And then obviously click save. Once you click save, do not download the Mero SDK. Do not. And what you want to do is, is you want to go to the extended SDK. And then you want to go to here. Just copy it. And then what some tutorials will make you do is click the plus right here. Get URL and then paste in here. Click add. But it won't work because you're missing a step. And I'm here to show you. So what I do is, is search the git. And then click git right here. I know it looks a little weird. But trust me. It's nothing weird. It works perfectly fine. You click download for Windows. 64 bit. And then you click install. Once you install it. You want to just click next, next, next. You don't need to click any of the other boxes. And you click finish. And once you finish it, you want to restart your PC for it to work. 
Okay, once Git is installed and you restart your computer, you want to go to the extended SDK, GitHub, and then click copy this. And then go to the Unity project, click the plus, and then add package from Git URL, and then paste it in here and click add. It should do this after you have Git. Okay, once that's installed, and now you want to go back to the GitHub, and you want to go up and click code and download zip. Okay, once the zip is installed, you want to go to your files and then unzip it. Once it's unzipped, you want to open the file and then drag the whole file into the Unity project. It will take a second to install. Okay, once that's installed, you now have the extended SDK for Bone Lab installed. If you want me to do any tutorials for how to set up things, ask me and I can make a video for it or uh, go into the Discord and I'll help you out if you have any questions.